Hey everybody, it is Scott the Treasure Coast Picker and I'm coming to you with another haul video of a few things we picked up over the last uh, week or two and uh, I want to start out with some CDs. I found a, I found a place, a thrift store that has uh, CDs for 25 cents and uh, it takes a long time to go through them because uh, you're scanning each one or you're scanning the ones you think might have some value but I also found that there's uh, value in uh, 25 cent CDs if you can uh, flip them for five dollars a piece uh, you're going to get a good investment back on your 25 cents. So let me start out with a couple that I found. Actually, more than a couple. I found these. Uh, um, these are 25 each. It was a very merry Christmas. This uh, artwork by the artist Keith Haring, and it's a compilation of uh, famous artists, Whitney Houston, and so on. Uh, these probably sell in the five or six dollars range. I'm going to lock them together. Uh, another one was a brand new sealed is in the Heights. Uh, Broadway cast album. This features uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda, who's very hot right now. He he went on after this. He went on to do the um, Hamilton, and uh, he's very active. He, he was in Mary Poppins, and now he's very active in this whole Puerto Rican demonstration going on down in Puerto Rico. Um, so he's uh, he's a hot he's a hot commodity. So Lynn Manuel Miranda for a quarter. Uh, next up, uh, Randy the Redneck Reindeer. I like oddball Christmas stuff. Uh, a quarter a piece. Again, these are bread and butter. If you can get four or five dollars a piece, they ship for like uh, they ship for like two sixty, two sixty five, a first class shipping. So uh, even if you do free shipping and you're selling them at five dollars, you're still going to make money back on your twenty five cent investment. Welcome Mule is a uh, Irish, uh, yeah, Celtic and British uh, carols. Here's a group I've never heard of before. It's called uh, what is it called? It's called uh, Temptress. This is a sealed CD. I've never heard of them. Uh, but again, for a quarter, I took a chance. Uh, can't go wrong with Disney and the Disney uh, Princess. Sing along with the princesses. This will guarantee to bring $5 in because some some uh, mom will want this for their kids. Um, this is a really funny one. This is uh, Revenge of B-Boy. Revenge of B-Boy. And what it says here is that music taken from the, inspired from the motion picture, I Saw Your Mama Break Dancing Buck Naked. Now, I must have missed that one in the theaters because I'd never heard of this movie before, but uh, I saw your mama break dancing buck naked. Music from the soundtrack. We'll see if this does anything. It's just funny enough that someone might want to buy it. Uh, music from the play War Horse. Uh, I bought this one because I like the colors. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It's all in Spanish. Uh, maybe it's Cuban. I don't know. I can't even read it. This looked really good on Amazon, and the sales were really high, but... I think I got snookered there because, uh, of course, I only paid a quarter if I didn't get snookered. But on eBay, they're more like you know six, seven dollars for this called Juice, a soundtrack, the movie Juice. It's uh, Omar Epps in there. I don't know who the other guy is. Brand new sealed uh, Dave Matthews. Uh, this is Dave Matthews. I think is, this was his, I think, solo album, his first solo album. This uh, is sealed and should bring about seven bucks. Uh, another Christmas one, a uh, Christmas gift for you from by Phil Spector. I guess this is before he went to jail for murder. Uh, this has got uh, uh, Darlene uh, Love and uh, I think the Ronettes. Yes, the Ronettes and uh, a couple others. The Crystals. Uh, Annie Lennox. I actually have two of these. This one I found, uh, uh, Annie Lennox Christmas Cornucopia. And this is open and this one is sealed. So who doesn't like Annie Lennox, right? Me. I don't like Annie Lennox. And I don't know what that is. And uh, one other called the Puto Mayo Summer Sampler. It's like a little tiny, it's a single disc. It's got a couple of tracks on it, eight tracks on it. Um, I only bought this one because I sold one of these last year. And um, I think I was really excited about it. So I figured maybe this, is, maybe this has a following. Puto Mayo. I guess it's Spanish music. That's going to do it for CDs. Nope, one more. Um, I found this was, this was not a quarter. This is a Victoria's Secret. Um, collection of five CDs. It's the London Symphony Orchestra. It's all classical music. I paid four bucks for this at uh, Restore, the Restore Habitat for Humanity Restore, and uh, I just sold it this morning for eighteen dollars and seventy-nine cents plus shipping. We'll get that out today. Uh, talking about things we are selling or have sold, this is a Peter Millar. Uh, I bought these for five dollars a piece. Listed it the other day. This one sold this morning. It's a beautiful long sleeve. Soft cotton men's shirt. I love selling Peter Millar stuff. I do not buy the cotton short sleeve shirts. I buy the cotton long sleeve shirts. In the short sleeve shirts, you want to buy the uh, summer comfort shirts. They're uh, moisture wicking 
and they're a lot, lot, a lot nicer than the, uh, the cotton short sleeves. But long sleeve, these do well. This sold for, what did it sell for? I don't have it in front of me. This sold for, I believe, $18. I can check that in a minute. $18. Another Peter Millar. This one has not sold yet. Again, also $5 in the same store. Uh, same size, probably the same donor. And this is a, uh, the other one's a blue and white plaid. This is a blue and white and gray. Although it looks brown in the picture. But uh, this is also up. This was sold up. This was up for $18. Uh, this one I paid a lot of money for. Uh, I took a chance on this one. And this is a Kyrie, a Nike Kyrie Irving uh, USA jersey. Kyrie Irving. The reason I jumped on this is because Irving, Kyrie Irving just signed uh, with the Brooklyn Nets. And he'll be living in West Orange, New Jersey, which is the next town over. So uh, my son said if he runs into him, you can probably get it signed. Uh, I'm not going to have him carry it around and get it signed. I'm going to just, I, it's already listed. I've listed it up at $75. Uh, uh, Irving is a pretty popular guy. And uh, so I paid $23 for this. So I'm in for, I'm in for some good money on this one. Hopefully Kyrie Irving will have a great season and the Nets will have a great season. And uh, even though I'm not a basketball player, it's a large. If, if you, if you, if you want to make a, an offer, it's a large. But I have it up on eBay now. And, um, it's for sale, and, and hopefully this was a, uh, this, I took a risk. I'm going to show you another risk I just took. Here's another item that I, pay, I paid up for. And um, this is a Mitchell & Ness New York Jets satin jacket. Now, I, you may know that I, um, I, I shop at a store that gets a lot of donations from the New York Jets. And uh, recently, a few months ago, I picked up a Sam Darnold jersey that I had authenticated by the Jets that it was an actual jersey that that uh, was donated by the team. It wasn't some knockoff thing that uh, somebody brought in there. And this is a, a Mitchell & Ness, $130 retail, uh, Super Bowl commemorative jacket. It, uh, Super Bowl three is the only Super Bowl the Jets won. It was 50 years ago in 1969. And uh, it's got the tags on it. They had, they had about a dozen of these. And I, there was that temptation to go out and spend a ton of money to buy them. I decided to only buy the one. Uh, the others were mostly mediums. They did have a 3X and a 4X, which were huge. I tried them on. And uh, they didn't have anything to fit me. I'm a Jets fan. But uh, beautiful satin jacket. Uh, this was $25. I figured, let me take a chance on one. If, 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 if it sells right away, I'll go back and see if they have another. But it's got all the proper tags on it. It's the real deal. Donated by the Jets. Got the NFL... Uh, insignia on it and the like you said the hang tag with the price of $130 retail. I did look this up online and it is sold out on NFL.com shop, NFLshop.com. So it is out of stock. They they retailed them at $129. I have this up for $99. Okay. We are oh I got a couple more CDs I missed. A couple more CDs for a quarter a piece. Uh, B52's Funplex. This is a promo uh, CD with just uh, only three tracks on it. Uh, Dolores O'Riordan, who I believe was uh, uh, unfortunately uh, passed away uh, a year or so ago, and uh, this is an album that she did. It's still got the uh, the name on top there. Uh, Bob Rivers, Twisted Christmas. Um, I love selling Christmas stuff. This is sealed evening at Rayo's. Rayo's is a very exclusive Italian restaurant in New York City that. Uh, you cannot get into it. They only have like uh, maybe 35 seats, and they're booked up in uh, you know, months and months in advance. Very hard to get into, but this is the music that they play in the restaurant. Uh, and it's a compilation of Jerry Vale, Johnny Maestro, the Shirelles, Louis Prima, Dean Martin, and a whole bunch of others. And uh, finally, as a sealed uh, Any Get Your Gun, this was the re release with uh, Bernadette Peters and Tom Wopat of the Dukes of Hazard. This is also sealed, and these were all a quarter apiece. That's it for the CDs, I promise. And finally, the last item is the weirdest item I found in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's, if I don't knock it over, it's the Stanley Cup. Yes, it's the Stanley Cup, the hockey Stanley Cup. Now, it's not the official Stanley Cup. This is actually a popcorn popper, believe it or not, a Stanley Cup popcorn popper. And uh, the, the, the cup comes off the top. And there's this uh, area here, and there's another piece I don't have, and there's a spout that goes on here. And you put your, it's an air popper, so there's no oil. And it's, 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 it looks brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. It doesn't, 
doesn't smell like it smells like plastic it doesn't smell like anything I plugged it in it heats up blows the hot air and I paid five dollars for this and the only question I have is how am I going to ship it because it is quite tall and large it did come in this original box so this is not really a box it's more of a plastic container which will probably crush so I have to find a box that's at least at least two feet tall before I can figure out how to ship this so if you have any suggestions to let me know because this is probably gonna be expensive especially with the new the new postal rates but anyway the Stanley Cup popcorn pop is, is the weirdest thing I've found in quite a while and that is gonna do it for this one I said it would be quick I'm gonna go out thrifting now after I get this edited and posted and we'll be back uh, soon with uh, another whole video on perhaps a soul video I didn't do a soul video in June because uh, June was a very bad month for me I only sold 19 items so what I'll do is I'll do a sold uh, video at the end of July and I'll incorporate some of the better uh, the better June items into that video and, and it'll be a combination of the two months and I will see you again please like comment and subscribe below and uh, we'll see you next time thank you yes I forgot something uh, this is a Beatles lamp that uh, was sitting right in front of me and I went through the whole video and forgot to put this in uh, this is a Beatles lamp it's uh, 2009 it's got all the Beatles faces on it's kind of a posterized lamp uh, I looked these up online they are sold out everywhere they uh, sold for uh, like 50 or 60 dollars when they were new uh, it has the uh, the, 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 uh, the manufacturer another manufacturer the copyright 2009 Apple Core limited a Beatles product on it it's a nice chrome base it's got the uh, turn on the switch in here and uh, anyway these sold for like 50 or 60 dollars new I paid uh, it was six dollars and it was senior day so I got it for four dollars and eighty cents and I forgot to uh, edit to my video so hopefully I can edit this in and uh, this is already up on eBay I forget what I priced it at I think somewhere around the $75 range and um, we'll see what happens but this is a great find uh, it's beautiful condition and uh, it's the Beatles I don't usually buy a lot of Beatles stuff because you don't really find much that's good but this is this was pretty unique so anyway I just wanted to add this in and uh, we'll see you again next time bye